special investigation into Sarah Palin's Troopergate scandal released over the weekend was so unambiguous that it spelled out how, quote, she abused her power, how she broke the, quote, code of ethics, and how she was guilty of violating Alaska statute. And she immediately lied about what the report said. Our third story in the countdown, a fitting triple header, Troopergate, Troopergate report gate, and something new, the possibility that the giant new home she claimed her husband and a few contractor buddies built might actually have been improperly constructed by the same people who built the $12 million sports complex Mayor Palin got built in Wasilla, Alaska. Troopergate first. The report states that Governor Palin abused her power by having staffers, as well as her husband, pressure State Commissioner Walt Monaghan, into firing her sister's ex-husband. But she found one passage in the so-called Branch Flower report that gave her cover, and she rode the damn thing for all it was worth. There was no abuse of authority at all in trying to get Officer Wooten uh, fired. In fact, remember, Officer Wooten is still an Alaska State Trooper, which is up to the, uh, the commissioner and the personnel, top brass in the Department of Public Safety, to decide who is worthy of wearing a badge and carrying a gun in the state of Alaska. And if they think that uh, Trooper Wooten is worthy of that, that's their decision. I don't micromanage my commissioners and ask them to hire or fire anyone. And thankfully, the truth was revealed there in that report report that showed that there was no un um, unlawful nor unethical activity on my part. He ain't dead, so I couldn't have shot him. The problem, that last part, is a false claim, finding number one in the Branch Flower Report. For the reason explained in Section 4 of this report, I find that Governor Sarah Palin abused her power by violating Alaska Statute 39.52.110A of the Alaska Executive Branch Ethics Act. Let's turn now to Wayne Barrett, senior editor of the Village Voice. Um, his Sarah Palin story is gracing the cover of the newspaper this week, and in it, those questions about the, the house and the sports complex. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. All right, if there's time, we can go over to the Trooper Gate report. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. She was unethical. Report says so, and she's unethical in I saying she's not unethical. I shot the sheriff, but I did not shoot the deputy. <laughs> Thank you very right? much. But boiled down this story about Palin and the, the Palin house and the, the, its possible connection to this giant sports complex in this tiny well, town. One kind of springs from the the other because they're really stories about whether or not she uses her public position to benefit herself. Mm -hmm. In this case, in the case of the Troopergate report, it was to benefit herself in a personal way, not a financial way. But the odd thing about this house is I'm watching Greta Van Susteren on your favorite channel, and she's got an interview with Todd Palin, and Todd Palin is saying, you know, I built this house myself. They're standing out in front of the house with me and my buddy contractors. Well, a bomb goes off in my head, and I say, well, geez, i got to find out who those buddy contractors are. Big problem, Keith. She eliminated building permits in the town of Wasilla. There are no building permits oh. required. So you had to figure out who the first I had to get who all the subcontractors and contractors were on the sports complex, because it all happens with great synergy at the same time, just a mile from each other. The house is built just a mile. Remote corner. If you can find a remote corner of Wasilla, Jeez. they found the remote corner. So so it's geographically in the same place. The decisions are all made at the same time. All in 2002. Isn't it odd that they decided to build their own first home the year that she was running first time for statewide office? Well, it's completed. The only thing they have to file in Wasilla is a notice of completion. On 8-30-2002, they filed a notice of completion. So that's two months before she leaves office. So wouldn't it sound logical then that you're going to build a house even while you're running statewide? Why you can still get right. some favors from the guys who are going to build it, and it turns out that at least I was able to clearly establish one contractor, the big building supply contractor who supplied the building materials for the complex, is the same guy. Spinard is the name. That's the company that supplied the building supplies for her house. I asked others. You just had to dial right. them up by phone and say, you know, did you do anything? And others said, well, I can't remember if I did or didn't. How would I? I know but you know so you got to do it by by phone without records but so now and this and this 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 uh spinard company also now tracks back to ted stevens in the vico house yes yes they were one of the contractors named in that case right. as having worked in the vico house but now spinard also is one of the sponsors of todd palin's snowmobile snowmobile race team and and so it's this kind of interlay in a small town between your public life and your private life but the timing to make this decision to build the house 
two months before she leaves office is certainly suggestive. So you're suggesting, though, that, it, that they didn't, what the, what's the term at, at a construction site for the leftover stuff that walks off? Mungo? They didn't build this out of Mungo, just that they found at the, at the sports complex construction. I'm just giving no, you the No, no, it, could, it couldn't have done that because they build the house before they start the construction uh. of, but before they award the contracts, too. So, I mean, they pick as the architect, by the way, to design this $12.5 million project, the biggest thing Wasilla has ever seen. They picked the son of the local GOP party boss, who was her mentor in politics. That's who gets the architectural contract. Small town, small state. Let me ask you one question about the Trooper Gate report. It said she violated the ethics. According to Sarah Palin, it said she was within ethical bounds. That twist of terms sort of defines this woman. What is she? Well, you know, Keith, the odd thing is, how did she get on the stage in Alaska? Yeah. She pointed the finger at the state party boss for doing an ethical violation very similar to the one that this report has now found her guilty of. That's all. That's how she became a statewide figure. She was on the Gas and Oil Commission. The party chairman was on the Gas and Oil Commission. She said he's abusing his public position for personal or political reasons. And they, they did find an ethical violation, the same sort of ethical violation that she is now appears to be guilty of. I think psychologically it's called projection. Uh, yes. Wayne Barrett with the uh, cover story of the Village Voice on Governor Palin. Thank you for coming in, Wayne. Thank Always you. a pleasure, Thanks. sir.